Okay, I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to blend this concealer all the way out so I don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC50 and I'm just going to put this all over my eyes to prep it for my eyeshadow. I haven't used this um, concealer in a minute. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette and I'm going to use this color right here. I'm going to use this shade as my transition shade. Can y'all see it? That color right there. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my transition color and I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use that color for my crease. I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Cotton Candy. This is how it looks. And I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. I'm not going to do a full crease. I'm only going to do a half crease because I think I like how that looks on my eyes better than a full crease. But then again, I don't do cut creases and stuff, so I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to figure out what I like best but I think I like a half crease better than a full crease. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Cotton Candy. This is how it looks. And I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this brush. I really don't remember where I got these brushes from. I think I got them from a drugstore place. I think I got these from Walgreens. It came in a set. I'm just gonna take this brush right here. That's the shape of it. That's how it looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm just tapping the brush on my eyelid and I'm looking up to see where the crease, where my crease will end. So it ends right there. I'm just gonna follow that. I kind of messed up on this side yeah you can definitely tell but oh well we're just gonna keep going to set the concealer I'm just gonna take my James Charles palette I just got this palette you guys I was so happy they restocked but I'm gonna take the color Oh god, this thing is so big. I'm going to take Flashback. That's the color I'm taking. And it's just the white eyeshadow base before I apply my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I want on top of the crease. So I'm just tapping the eyeshadow on the parts I put the concealer on my eyelid. Just going in a tapping motion to make sure I got all of the concealer. And now I'm going to use the other side to do the same thing. After I'm done with that, I'm going to go back into my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. I feel like my concealer is just too... The crease is just too much so I'm going to try to soften it up so I'm going to use this color first. I'm going to use this color first and I'm just going to go around the edges of the concealer to make it a little smaller. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing you guys.
I'm going to use this color with the same brush and do the same exact thing. I'm going to focus on the ends as well. Just to kind of soften it up a little bit. I think that looks better. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Anastasia Sultry eyeshadow palette. That's how it looks like. And I'm just going to take... I'm going to take Rose Quartz. So this is the color right here that I'll be using. And I'm going to put that all over where I have all over my crease. Okay, I feel like I need to blend out my... I need to blend out the transition a little better. So I'm going to take that same brush that I use for the crease and I'm just going to blend it out some more. Just. So I'm just going back and forth until I am satisfied with how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put on some eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Pro Longwear Fluid Line Eyeliner by MAC. I really hate using um, eyeliners with this consistency, but my liquid eyeliner is out, completely gone. So, just got to make do of what I have. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this eyeliner for what I'm using it for. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get some eyeliner out from my liquid eyeliner because I'm not really liking how this is looking. So I'm just going to use this NYX eyeliner. It is the matte liquid liner. This is in the color black, so I'm about to just do that. And I'm just going to go over the eyeliner because I want it to be as straight as possible. So, Do you guys see the difference in the eyeliners? Like, the liquid eyeliner is just way darker to me and that's what I like. And now I'm going to use um, these lashes by, they're called Let's Get Me. Let's get minked, and they're in the style Fierce. I've had these lashes for a long time, so they kind of look old. So now I'm about to do my face, the rest of my face. I'm going to mix my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 480 with my MAC, um... Match Master Foundation in the shade 9.0. So I'm just going to mix those two together and I'm going to apply it on my face. The Fenty Foundation in the shade 480 is too dark for me and the MAC Foundation is too light. And the consistency is different. Like the MAC Foundation is a little thicker. Well, it's a lot thicker than the Fenty Foundation which is more on the watery side. So hopefully this will blend in well. Okay, now I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. Why do I keep saying brush? My Real Techniques um, sponge, and I'm going to blend that all. And I'm going to blend both foundations into my skin. I am so glad I tried out that um, Huda Beauty concealer. Because when I used to um, try to do a cut crease, it just never was pigmented enough and it wasn't really the eyeshadow I think it was the base I was starting off at like I would just use a concealer that I would use to highlight my face and I just don't think it was light enough especially if you're doing a cut crease with lighter colors I definitely think you should get a concealer if you're my complexion I think you should get a concealer that's cream or almost like on the white side not a brown concealer 
Do y'all ever feel like if your eyebrows come out good, you're going to have a good makeup day? Because <laughs> that's how I feel when I'm doing my makeup. If my eyebrows don't look good, then my makeup is going to be trash. Because your eyebrows define your face. It literally makes your face. It makes or breaks your face. And today I had a good brow day surprisingly because i really need to get my eyebrows done i haven't got my eyebrows done in like three months now that i'm done blending out my foundation i'm gonna get into my concealer i'm gonna use my um multi sculpting concealer by Too faced today that's the concealer i'm gonna use on my face debating if i want to put concealer underneath my nose or should I just stop here? Hmm. I'm just going to put a little bit. Now I'm just going to take my Morphe E30 brush to blend out my concealer. So I'm going to start with my chin because the concealer on my chin seems to dry faster than everywhere else. And it's just harder for me to blend if I do my chin last. I love this concealer brush from Morphe. This is the, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this is the Morphe E30 brush. This blends out my concealer so flawlessly. Like, I just love this brush. The only thing I don't like about this brush is that you do have to wash it a lot. Which I know you're supposed to wash your makeup brushes like on a regular day basis well not like daily but i know you're supposed to wash your makeup brushes maybe like once or twice a week depending on how much makeup you wear or like depending on how much you use them but i am very guilty of not washing my makeup brushes unless they get really stiff and this brush gets really stiff really quickly so i always have to wash it to get a flawless blend but that's okay. It kind of forces me to wash the rest of my makeup brushes. Okay, now I'm going to use my favorite lipstick to contour. You guys gave me a lot of contours I should try for my skin tone. And I'm really going to try them out. But for now, I'm going to use my MAC lipstick in the shade Antique Velvet to contour my face. You really don't have to be this extra and put some right here. But I'm a very extra person and I like for my face, whenever I do my makeup, I like for my face to be super, super beats. Like if I'm going to wear makeup, I want a full glam look. So you can skip that step if you want to. I'm going to take my Morphe E8 brush and I'm going to blend my contour out. Y'all, I know my concealer is too light for my face, but I paid like $30 for that concealer. And at the time, I didn't think, when I bought it, I didn't think it was too light for my face. So I used it and when I realized it was too light for my face, it was too late to exchange it because I almost used it up. But you guys, I really like the consistency of the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. It's very thick, buildable coverage. And yeah, I just really like it. I'm definitely going to buy it again. I'm just going to make sure I get the right shade. I'm actually going to use my Morphe 504 brush to apply my translucent powder. I'm going to start with under my eyes so it doesn't crease up on me when the um, concealer dries all the way. I'm taking this translucent powder and I'm just applying it everywhere. I applied my concealer and I'm gonna also put it underneath my cheeks even though I didn't put any concealer there I just like to define my cheekbone by doing that now I'm just gonna take my powder brush by real techniques and I'm just going to blend that out whatever makeup is left on it I'm just going to use this brush to blend it out I'm gonna use my Milani press powder to set my contour, I'm going to use the Morphe E4 brush. Now I'm going to take my Morphe E8 brush again and I'm going to set, I'm going to use the press powder to set my contour in the middle of my nose. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to use my Meilani 
pressed powder in the shade earth glow and i'm just going to apply that pretty much everywhere but my cheeks i just want to add one more thing to my eyeshadow i want to add a brow bone highlight to my eyeshadow so I'm going to use my Desi X Katie Frankation palette and I'm going to use that color right here. And it's almost out because I love this color so much. I'm only going to put a little bit because this color is really pigmented. I look really light right now. I just want this lighting to stop. So I'm going to go in with this eyebrow brush and my MAC eyeliner. I'm going to try to lightly um, line my waterline. Wow! I just stabbed myself. Oh my god. I'm dying. I hate when I do that. I'm going to go blind one day. Now my eye want to tear up. I ain't even stab you that hard. I'm going to use my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I think this mascara brush is just way too big for my bottom lashes. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm just gonna use this brush instead. I'm now going to use this setting spray by Makeup Forever. It's called Mist and Fix, that's how it looks. And I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. Okay, before this fully dries, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty highlighter and I'm going to highlight my cheeks and all. So now for the lips. I don't know how I want my lips. I think I want to go with the gloss. I'm gonna use my NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso. Okay, I think I want my lip liner to be a little bit more intense. I'm going to take my lip pencil in Chestnut by MAC. And I'm just going to go over my lips one more time. I'm going to go in with Velvet Teddy by MAC. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips. And then I'm going to take my Fenty Gloss in the shade Fussy and I'm just going to put that on my lips as well. Hey guys, this is the finished look. That's it you guys. Let me know what you think about this look. Let me know. Let me know because I like it, honey. Like, although my cut creases, they're not really even. You really can't tell. Who is she? Who is that? <laughs> Bye y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more looks.